Hi, we are Radio Assist, an AI radiology screening assistant. We want to help doctors diagnose patients with disease faster. My name is Nuera, and my team members are Luke and Nikita. Our problem statement is that patients undergoing diagnostic imaging tests feel anxious waiting for their clinical diagnosis report. This wait time can take anywhere from one week for those living in cities to over one month for those living in remote locations or in developing countries. These longer wait times for test results negatively impact patient diagnosis and thereby the prognosis of disease. Therefore, it is imperative for us to improve the wait times for patients who have disease and require immediate care. Some potential solutions could be to hire more radiologists, but this is expensive and time consuming. On the other hand, increasing the workload of current radiologists is also not efficient. However, if there was a way to assist the radiologists with prioritizing which patients to diagnose first, that offers more of an affordable and effective solution. In terms of our market need, our early adopters would be radiologists working in teleradiology, which is the remote transmission and analysis of diagnostic images. They would like the assurance that their patients in critical need are taken care of in a timely manner. Later on, the larger market would be hospitals who would be implementing this technology in their existing radiology departments. On the business side, the market size for x-rays is at least $8 billion. We are offering an API product. Our initial business model will be a free trial for early adopters. For the long term, we propose a transactional business model where we charge by usage per patient image file. For business scale up, we plan to integrate models for other imaging modalities such as CT scans and MRI, along with different disease data sets, and we plan to charge an additional fee to access these models. Finally, the cost of development and operation is about 300k per year. For our product strategy, the ultimate success metric is to reduce patient wait time for diagnostic test results. One factor that contributes to lengthy wait time is knowledge of disease, which is dependent on radiologists' expertise. Therefore, feature A classifies disease. A secondary factor is accessibility. For those living in remote locations or in developing countries, it can be a one month wait. So our product feature should screen for patient location. Moreover, patient backlog is another factor. Hospitals usually report a minimum one week backlog. Therefore, our product feature should reorder this backlog to prioritize high risk patients. Finally, patients are assessed in chronological order based on their test date. Our product feature should use patient metadata to aid in the ranking of the patient log. For our data, we obtained our data set from a Kaggle competition for pneumonia detection. It consists of grayscale X-ray images. We chose this data set because it was smaller in size and it was easier to work with X-ray images. Now, Luke will be discussing the project architecture and model. Here's the architecture of our product. The model is coded in PyTorch, also on GitHub, and we use Neptune AI to monitor our training runs. We use MLflow to package the model, which is then containerized in a Docker container hosted on Docker Hub. The model is then deployed on an Amazon EC2 instance with a GPU, which can be accessed via a Flask API. The Docker Hub, GitHub, and Neptune pages are publicly available. For the model, we decided to use a ResNet 34, pre-trained on ImageNet with a cross entropy loss and an ADAM optimizer. Here is one example of the training loss uh, for one training run. And here is the link for the Neptune experiments. For the training, we had one issue, which was the imbalance of the data set. Uh, we have uh, almost 80% negatives. We just decided to apply a balance scheme, balancing scheme by uh, downsampling the negatives in order to have as many positives as negatives. We also resized the images to 512 resolution with no visual loss of information. To evaluate the model, we decided to use precision recall and F-score. However, uh, we want to stress that positive recall is the most important metric 
because we do not want to miss any sick patients. Another uh, comment is that wait time is the real metric, uh, but we cannot evaluate this uh, for the sake of this MVP. Here are our final results. Uh, we can see that uh, for the imbalanced data sets, uh, we have a very low recall of 56%. However, using the balanced data set, we managed to um, uh, reach a recall of 92% and a precision of 85.4%. Uh, and now for our alpha release, we allowed users to upload patient files and we displayed the patient images. We also provided a mock-up of the patient logs. The original patient log ordered patients in chronological order based on the upload queue, whereas the updated patient log sorted by prioritizing the patients with the higher likelihood of disease at the top. We received important feedback on the alpha release. The radiologists had interest in the solution. However, they preferred reading images directly from the machine since manually uploading files is time consuming. They also advised us to rank patients based on criteria such as age, gender, smoking status, occupation, and location. Prior to alpha release feedback, we had initially proposed a SaaS product. However, it is disruptive for the radiologist to use additional software on top of their existing software. Therefore, we decided to offer an API which readily integrates with existing radiology platforms. Therefore, our final solution is an API that integrates with the hospital's PACS and RIS system. The PACS is essentially a database of patient images, and the RIS is a patient management software. Therefore, we would want to access these two systems, sync the patient data, perform our analysis, and return the results to the radiology software. We would like to offer this API to the radiology companies for integration with their existing software. One important thing to note is a caveat. We want to ensure that patients without disease are also diagnosed in a timely manner by fixing the time period for patient log prioritization. Additional solution feedback included the need to provide transparency of the prioritization process and some tips on model improvement. More importantly, it was recognized that the solution provides value since it keeps the doctors in the loop and grants them the final say in diagnosis. In terms of future work, we would like to further develop our model by using a larger data set, which also includes patient metadata, and we would also like to improve the model metrics. Next steps also involve creating multiple models for other disease and imaging modalities. As for products, there are many radiology software companies. Some of them also offer AI prioritization tools. However, the widespread use has been limited. The adoption and implementation of such a product in the healthcare industry presents many challenges. There are many regulations such as FDA and patient privacy laws to follow. Our API is modular and can be integrated with existing platforms. The goal is that by partnering up with radiology companies who already have a legal foothold at hospitals, they can help guide us to ensure that our product meets industry standards. Ultimately, a screening tool which prioritizes patients can improve the radiology workflow and reduce the diagnostic results wait time for patients with disease. Please check out the link shown below for additional information. And now we will be giving a brief demo. I'm now going to demo our product, which is deployed on an Amazon EC2 instance on port 5000. Before proceeding, we want to stress that the front end is only for demonstration purposes and that the real product is an API. Nonetheless, one can upload extra images as so. and then browse through them. We want to stress that uh, the doctor won't have to manually upload images uh, because they will be directly taken from the hospital database. One can then view the patient log. So here on the left, we have the original patient log for which patients are ranked in chronological order. On the right side, we have uh, the updated patient log at the top, we have the likely sick patients. And at the bottom, we have the non-sick patients. And in the middle, we have some patients for which illness is uncertain. The doctor can also check 
the current matrix of um, the current version of our product.